I'm Pastor Sarah, aka Disorganized.Religion on TikTok. I'm also the local church pastor at Church of the Good Shepherd, United Church of Christ in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I want to talk to you today about how to be a successful TikTok creator while also being an engaged local church pastor. So this video is specifically for clergy. If you're not clergy, go back to the playlist, find other videos that are relevant to all people. But this is for clergy in particular. So how can you engage your congregation while also building this TikTok community? I would say the majority of folks in my congregation do see TikTok as an extension of my pulpit. And it's an opportunity for evangelism. It's an outreach ministry of the church. But it took us some time to get there. TikTok is not something everyone in your congregation is going to understand or appreciate. In fact, one of the things I talked a lot about early on is the expectation that I don't expect people to watch my TikToks who are in the church. A lot of folks do because I post them to other places, but my congregation knows that TikTok is not intended for all of them. I sometimes share my videos, again, <laughs> slowed down uh, in church, um, and certainly my TikTok videos inform my sermons. You'll notice a lot of my TikTok videos actually follow the lectionary because they're one of the ways that I hone in on the points that I'm preaching on on Sunday. But whatever you use TikTok for, it's important that you have a conversation with your congregation about what that ministry means and what their part is in it. So here are my top 10 tips for getting your congregation on board with your ministry. Tip number one. For all of your analog folks, write a newsletter article, write something in the paper bulletin explaining what TikTok is and how it gels with your ministry and with the mission of the church, and probably do that more than once. Number two, consider showing a video of yours, especially if it's educational or if it's on a biblical topic in church. Now, I would recommend slowing it down a little bit. Take, if, if you sped it up to begin with, um, take out any background music because uh, older folks in your congregation, it's harder to hear if there's background music in it. So don't use background music, but show them an example of the kind of content that you're sharing with the world. Number three, share positive comments that you get on your TikToks with members of your church so that they know that you're making an impact. Number four, invite members of your church to make a TikTok with you. Or to, if, uh, once you have a big following, come to one of your live streams and participate in reacting to the people who are in your TikTok audience. Preach a sermon about evangelism and talk about TikTok as a modern way of sharing the good news with a new audience. Number six, as excited as you get about TikTok, keep doing your job. <laughs> keep caring about the members of your local church and don't just talk to them about TikTok. Talk about their lives the way you do as a local church pastor. Uh, even though you're really excited about it, um, not just remember that not everyone in your church is going to be as excited about it as you are. Number seven, form a Bible study or a group that meets online on Zoom, for example and invite people from your TikTok audience and from your local church. I helped start a Read the Bible in a Year group, and it's been really neat to watch my local church members interact with the online folks that I met on TikTok. Number eight, if you have other social media platforms where you have church members interacting, share some of your TikTok videos there. Make those posts public so that they can then share them with their friends. Number nine, Consider talking to your regional leadership and certainly your local church leadership about how your TikTok ministry fits into the wider ministry of the church. And number 10, use electronic newsletters, social media, even text messages if you text with members of your church to share other creators' TikTok videos and share videos that are educational and that are uplifting. And that will expose your congregation to TikTok as a healthy platform for dialogue and education. Good luck. Be sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube and follow me for more tips.